Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing why knowing your strategy parameters makes sense. Usually traders' interests focus on entries. Forecasting seems to them a crucial skill for succeeding in the Forex market, and they usually think other topics are secondary or even irrelevant. In this case, they are deadly wrong. Entries are no more than 10% of the success of a trader, while risk management and position sizing are crucial elements that the majority of traders discard as uninteresting. Let's now look at why risk can be such an exciting topic for people willing to improve in their trading. Making sure our strategy is a winner. There are two ways to trade, the correct way and the wrong way. The correct way is when the trader fully knows the main parameters of their system or strategy. The incorrect way is when they do not. So, why do we need to know the parameters to be successful? Firstly, to know if the system has an edge or is profitable long term. Secondly, by knowing the parameters, we will know how much we can risk on each trade. Lastly, and no less important, by identifying these parameters, we can more easily define the monetary objectives and overall risk or drawdown. The two main parameters of a strategy or system. To fully identify a strategy, we need just two parameters. The rest of them can be derived from these two with or without the position size. The parameters in question are the percent of winning trades and the reward to risk ratio. Mathematical expectancy. With these two parameters, we can estimate if the system is a winner or a loser using the following simple formula, defining the player's edge. Where P is the probability of winning and A is the amount won, the formula assumes that A is a constant since this formula came from gambling. Still, we can approximate the results when A is our average winning amount or even better, the reward to risk ratio. As an example, let's assume our system shows 45% winners and a winning amount two times its risk. This is shown in this formula. The mathematical expectancy, expressed as me, shows the accepted return on each trade per dollar risked. In this case, it is 35 cents per dollar risked. Planning for the monetary objectives. Once we know me, it is easy to know the daily and weekly returns of the strategy. To do it, another figure we should know, of course, the frequency of the trades of the strategy. Let's assume that the strategy is used intraday on our four major pairs, delivering one trade per day per pair. This means that the system's daily return, or DR, will be four times me, dollars per day per dollar risk, while monthly returns, signified as MR, will be that amount times 20 trading days. Those formulas are shown here. Therefore, a trader risking $100 per trade would get $2,800 monthly on average. That is great. By defining our monthly objectives, once knowing me and the number of trades the system delivers daily or monthly, we can determine the risk incurred. For example, Another bolder trader would like to triple that amount by tripling the risk on each trade. Why not tenfold or 100-fold risk to aim for 280k per month income? The answer is drawdown. Drawdowns are the result of the combination of the probability of losing when using the trading system and the amount lost. Drawdowns are unavoidable because the system always shows losing streaks. Therefore, any trader must make sure that streak does not burn his trading account. The risk of ruin increases as the trade size grows so there is a rational limit to the size we should trade if we want to keep safe our hard-earned money. As a basic method to be on the safe side, a trader must first decide how much of his account he's willing to accept as drawdown, and from there use a trade size percent of the total balance which satisfies the condition of maximum drawdown. Let's look at an example. Let's say a trader using the previous strategy will not accept to lose more than 25% of his funds. As an approximation to the drawdown, we can think of a losing streak of 10 consecutive trades, an event with 0.35% probability of happening. What is the trade size suitable to comply with these parameters? This is shown here in the following equations. That gives us a reasonable trade size for this particular trader. If another trader is not willing to risk more than 10%, then his or her trade size should be 1%. Once this quantity is known, the trader only has to compute the dollar value by multiplying the current balance. Resetting the objectives. Let's assume that the balance is $5,000, then the max risk per trade allowed is $125. That means we could expect a monthly return of about $3,500 on the previously discussed strategy for max drawdown of no more than 25%. If the trader would like to earn $7,000 instead, he or she should add another $5,000 to the account to guarantee a 25% drawdown or accept a 50% drawdown and risking $250. In conclusion, Please note that this is just an example and that sometimes the trade size is limited by the allowed leverage and other conditions. Also note that trading the forex market is risky, therefore, please start slowly. It is better to begin by risking 0.5% and see how your strategy develops and how the drawdown is affected.
The first measure you must take is creating a spreadsheet annotating all of your trades, including entry, exit, profit, loss, and risk per trade. Then compute your strategy parameters on a weekly basis. This is a serious business, and we should be doing our due diligence and keep track of the evolution of our trade system or systems. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.